Hi, Hi guys. guys, we are back. back, and this time we are creating this easy smoky cat eye look. And you can rock it to anything you like, to a party or a fancy event or laundry or groceries. Um, you might think that a smoky cat eye could is like difficult to make. It really isn't. I just learned it today, so. It's easy, <laughs> let's get started. So we've just finished doing our face, our base. So now we're moving on to the eyes. I'm giving that smoky, dramatic cat eye look. So let's get started. Yes, and we will start with the uh, Perfectitude eyeshadow primer. And an eyeshadow primer or eyelid primer. You use this so you get an even base for your eyelid. Now that the eyelids are nice and primed, we yes. can move on to the first color. The first color we're gonna use is from the Matte and Metallic Eyeshadow Palette. And what the great thing about these palettes is, love is all about strengthening pe people who are into makeup and empowering. So when you open these, there are a little quote inside for you. And this one says, I can and I will, watch me. Cute. I actually think there is one more in this one. And it says, own, who you are. And that's exactly what we're gonna be yes, doing right you. now. And the first color we'll be using is Fierce. I hope to God I'm pointing at it right now. <laughs> because we are what? Fierce. Fierce. So, I'm gonna tap this one. So, and with a big fluffy brush, or that brush, you're gonna go into Fierce, and then you're gonna go to town on your eyelid. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth and on the other side as well. And this is the first transition in color. This is the base that's gonna make the <gasps> smoke seem a lot softer around the edges. And that's what people tend to forget when they do a smoky eye, they just slap on black. And, and we don't want wrong. any panda eyes. No, no. So, that was our first transition color. And I love that they call it transition color. Why? Because I'm transitioning. For what? A bus. No. I'm a lady! I never tried to make a um, uh, smoky okay. eye cat eye makeup, so I'm actually just trying to do what Molly does. I normally do this makeup every day. Not as cat eye-ish, but sort of. The next color we're going to be using is from the Essential Face and Eye Palette. And we will be dipping into the Satin Eyeshadow. And for this, you're gonna wanna take a slightly smaller blending brush because you don't wanna overdo what you just did with the Fierce. And I'm just gonna be using the same brush that I did before because, because it's smaller than the one I should have been using. Like that. You go under, under the Fierce. Under the Fierce. <laughs> under the Fierce. <laughs> you can't say no after I applied it. You're, you're still, I never really replied. You still, Follow what you just did, but not as blending as much upwards. Oh, you yeah. just blend it into the other one so that they get a smooth transition. Um, and the reason why we're using this specific color is because it's warm toned, goes well with every skill, skill color and skin color. <laughs> so it becomes a lot softer instead of a harsh brown. And right. these to blend into the fierce actually. This is pretty. Uh -huh. So pretty. So yes. we will be going back to the the matte and metallic eyeshadow palette. And we will be using, this time, Resist. <laughs> and the key to a good smoky eye is blending. Blend, 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 blend. It'll take you some time, but it'll be fine. Yeah. Just, you'll get there eventually. And the good thing about a smoky eye is that you can rock it for everything. A smoky eye is a girl and a boy's must know of makeup. So that's why I'm learning it now. <laughs> I love this little compact mirror it has at the product. Blend, 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 blend. That's one eye. But also, the, it is this deeper plumish color, and the worst color to pigment in makeup is purple because it's a color that's not really found that much in nature. Well, you learn something every day. <laughs> Stupid plum. Stupid plum. So I think I went good enough to town with the plum. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why everybody thinks that we're actually together. 
We're not. We're not. I ain't seen no rings on these fingers. So, what's next? Then we are going to be using some black shade. Still using the same brush? We're Palette. going to be using <laughs> this black matte eyeshadow from the Smoky Eye Palette. Yes, of course you can get it right when I said it three times. And I would suggest you use a small, thin brush because black eyeshadow needs precision. If you're not that... But I really love this brush. Yeah, well, you're gonna, you're gonna ruin your eye. We will be taking some translucent powder because if you get black fallout on your face, you're beeped. We will be using the Perfectitude Shine and Control Loose Powder. And it has a slight pink undertone. It is a really, really cute box. And look at this. It's so It's like soft. a pacifier. <laughs> if you're into big pacifiers. So, we're just gonna shake it a bit. And make sure you get as much on. <laughs> so that you can just fan it off whenever something bad happens. Now that we highlighted our face. <laughs> <laughs> and, and now we're gonna dip into the black matte eyeshadow. I'm just yeah. gonna tap. Always when you're using darker colors, always tap your brush. It's much better to go in several times than to have fallout. You're gonna start drawing from your eyelashes up to the crease and then Blending that out and into the crease. Okay. Also, oh, from the eyelid there, and, and then out. Okay. Just turn it up into the queen. You always look so stupid when you apply something with one eye closed and the other one up, and then your mouth just just goes like, uh, uh. For some. Well, okay. I look stupid. And then you take it up to the crease, and then blend it slightly into the crease, like a check mark. So actually, all of this I have applied up here is actually just from one, one what do you call it, tap, and then just a, another tap. So it really has like a nice pigment. It's and very pigmented. That is often quite uncommon for a black eyeshadow because I don't know why. Some makeup brands just give you like a hint of black, like a ghost in the window. Like prosciutto only in ma makeup. <laughs> what? Okay, I think I did something I shouldn't supposed to be doing. But Probably. I actually think it, this looks quite nice. Yeah, that's It has like a nice blend. That's the smoky eye I do when I go out. <gasps> Partying. And doesn't look like a panda, so. <laughs> so, remember to tab it. Maybe you saw that. And, and if you're a smoker, like you'll be used to it. It's actually you shouldn't quite be smoking nice. because smoking is bad for you. But for a smoky eye, it, no cancer involved. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. No, my name is Molly. <laughs> okay, we, we, we try to apply it. The same thing over here. For that extra little blending touch, once you blend or put the black eyeshadow up into your crease, take a clean, fluffy brush and just go slightly over the edges. Oh, God damn it! I ruined something. No worries, if you make a mistake, if you make a mistake, take your favorite brush, and then just, just try to just blend this just a bit in here. Okay, see, it's still not panda. It's okay, it's okay. But I'm not mad at this. It actually, it's, it's okay. I like how the resist actually still shines right on your lid. Yeah. Even though you actually put the matte on top of it. Yeah. It's quite nice. It's very protruding. So it's also nicely pigmented. What can we say? Love loves pigments. What do you think? We're asking. You can't just look out in the far and say, what do you think? Is that the ghost in the window? What's next? Next, we're gonna wanna <clears throat> take a big fluffy brush because we're done with the black. And then you go whoosh, swoosh, swoosh. Okay, I'll just keep it on and then let's see who has some fallout. So, once you've done the upper eye, it's only natural we do the under eye. <laughs> so you're gonna start going in matte and metallic eyeshadow palette and you go for fierce again. We're doing exactly what we did on our crease, just in our under eye. Okay. And I like to get like the soft color like fierce into my under eye crease 
So I always do like this when you apply it so that you will get this extra underline. It makes your eye a bit, look a bit more girly if you have a man eye. What do you do if you have a girl eye? Then you just do your thing. Do your thing, honey. We will be using the satin eyeshadow from the Essential Face and Eye Palette. Well, look at you, Drifty Star. Calm down, James Charles. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's two kinds of satin eyeshadow in this yeah, one. Yeah, but we use the warm colored one because it matches with all skin tones, right? I took the dark one. <laughs> oh, God. Everything's ruined. Well, it's still pretty, though. So, see? Might as well go home now. So we're then gonna take the resist one more time? Uh-huh. Is yeah. it wrong to use the same brush? I would say so, yes, because you get the other colors mixed in with that color so you don't get the defined color. Yeah. When, when it's into a smoky eye like this, where you sort of use the same neutral colors-ish, it doesn't make that big of a difference. It's more if you use yellow and blue and use the same brush, you're gonna end up having green. Okay. Just a bit more dramatic effect down here. I like it. Can't resist, resist. I love it. I'm just gonna take the little blending brush and just go right under. This to give that full on smoke effect. And now I'm done with the black. So now I will be taking the fluffy brush and just remove the shine and control loose powder. See, no fallout. Once again, I'm not a makeup artist, makeup lover. And that is just as good. So now we will going to be applying our liner and mascara. And for that, we will be using... Something new. The Roll Liner. 18 hour long wear waterproof liquid liner. Special thing about this is, it comes with a little wheel. Whee! <laughs> <laughs> and the idea with this is that you will be making a much smoother and more precise line. Let's give it a go. Shall we go for it? <laughs> okay, concentration, concentration. So you'll actually just take like really small strokes. There's not that much product on this wheel. Well, I think there is. Maybe I just- Well, maybe you have the wheel of fortune. <laughs> Stop making me laugh when I'm doing uh, my eyeliner. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's not for the faint-hearted. No. Um, it requires a lot of precision. But we're done with our eyes now, and we yeah. need some mascara. Yes, and for this we will be using the Royal Ash. Royal Ash. And it's the period strength and volume mascara. I just love the sound when it's just like... You're not supposed to do like that. Like, a lot of girls I remember when I was young, when they needed to cover their entire brush, this went like ding, 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 ding. And then you pump air into it, and then it dries out. So you won't really get the full experience of your mascara. And if you buy an expensive one, that's stupid. So be careful, twist it out. But it's a really, really soft brush. Yeah. Like, you can almost like fall asleep. Like, it's so soft. I really like this brush. I like the uh, the fan. Yeah, the fan effect because you really get into the lashes. No. So we're gonna be one foot ahead and start our contouring. We will be using the Love Sun Blurring Bronzing Powder, and I will be using the Seductive Bronze Number no. Twenty. Mine is a Sensual Caramel. Mm -hmm. Temple, temple. Remember to blend contour. <laughs> into your hairline as well, so you don't go like white, brown, white. We've done our contour, highlight, and blush with the Essential Face and Eye Palette. Yes. And we are now ready to put on our lashes. Shall we do our lips first? We're going to do our, our lips lashes. first. And for that, we will be using the Lip Affair Color and Care Pen Lip Pencil. And mine is in shade Verena. Mine is called Sina. Well, Let's start with the lip liner. And we're going for a nude lip onto the Cena's nude. So matchy matchy. And mine is also a lip affair. And it's called Brave Nudes. And it's Janine's Resolve. All right, Janine, hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your pet shot. Come through, Janine. <laughs> you don't have to resolve anything. You just go on, go on. I'm not gonna say I love Jesus, but I do drink a little. She does. She does. 
That's a really nice shade. One of the new I like it. We are now done with our lips. So we will put on the eyelashes for that dramatic eye cat smoky smoky the bear. Look fuck. Mm. Look. Lashes. Yes. Done. Putting it on. We are on with our lashes and now we're just gonna set our face with the Perfectitude 3 in 1 Matte and Fix Spray. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, moist. Mm, cheers to the baby. That smells so good. good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we hope that you love this video. <laughs> yes, yeah, so and now you know the drill. Hit the subscription. Hit the notification and don't forget to give a big fat thumbs up for this. And don't forget to comment down below how you think about our dramatic and our... Everyday. Also, comment down below what you would like us to do the next time. Thanks so, for watching. Bye. Bye. <laughs>